All right, just got the Casse 63cc Chinese motor. There it is. 28 millimeter, 140 bucks on eBay. And uh, it should start up. I'm gonna break it in and later on put on the attack on it and see how it does as is and then start doing some work to it maybe port it out de-restrict it it's probably restricted because it's epa approved for the u.s so we'll be gutting that and making a little bit more high performance larger carburetor and, and uh We'll, see, we'll we'll you know we'll play with the timing as well. Probably throw a rocket key in there, and uh, see how that does. Possibly, um, possibly uh, port it. Yeah, I'm gonna port it. Raise comp uh, compression. That's, that's funny. I hadn't seen this type of. Uh... Okay. All right, we'll see what kind of mods we could do to this thing later. So, this is what it came with. Boom, boom, boom. It's the Wash Shang motor, rebranded for Casse. And it comes with emission control warranty statement. California Air Research Board. That's basically CARB. And, um,. Yep. Washing. Okay. Anti smoke standards. Must be designed and built, equipped to meet the states. Okay. So yeah, uh, it's it's restricted. Well, uh, we'll have to open it up and see what's up. Parts. Uh, numbers and such. Pretty cool troubleshooting and whatnot. All right, looks fun. We'll see what's up. Stay tuned. Passe motor, and I wanted to show you how they restrict this. There it is. This is a 63 cc huge ass piston. It looks like if it's been coated. Pretty nice, actually. Ah, uh, what's this? Couple of pulls probably, that's fine. So, oh, looks like the piston needs some work. Right there, we're not having enough clearance. Oh, dude, I'm, I might just get to work on this thing. Look at that. The transfer, uh, it's not, this, this, this should be cut out at least like one of those uh, GSR 40s or a 460. Or this is opened up, so you, so when it comes down, you have better flow. And well, here's the part that what makes it EPA restricted. There it is. It has a uh, seems to be two or three gaskets. The middle one is uh, is blocking the air from freely flowing up into the top, the piston, so that might be why a lot of people have uh what do you call it limited rpms no matter what they do to it they don't fix that and then they're, it's never gonna run fast enough no matter what you do to it it's just gonna be a little workhorse so i'm gonna grind out these and uh, possibly check some clearances even though it's hard to pull this as it is, so I might just leave it as is. I'm just gonna cut this out.
All right, so here you have the Casse. It's, uh, it's been unrestricted, imported, nothing too fancy, um, but uh, definitely gonna be great performing, or well, at least much better than what it was. So I left the original carburetor on for now until I get uh, a linkage to bit a much, a much better carburetor on there that uh, aerates fuel better and whatnot. What I don't like about this though is that it has the exhaust pointing out by where you mount it. So, you know, on the go pad or whatnot, it's gonna be pointing towards the deck. Here is a, a big boy, fat boy scooter. This one's an actual go pad. This is the famous GSR 40. One of the most reliable ones. Torquey, same style of engine actually. The insides are pretty much the same. Here's another 60 cc that I built. And uh, it runs great. Really nice. Uh, pipes. Later on I'll put a pipe on this. This is going on a different go pad. A uh, trail ripper I think. A riot, rather. All right, so that concludes this this phase. Later, I will be um, making another video of the performance and and whatnot. So with this, you you've kind of got an idea of what what you're buying. Originally restricted and limited performance. So I spent several hours on this already. Uh, I would say with the Dremel, this is what I poured it with. I need a new one, but it, it'll work. <clears throat> Carbide bear set. It's fun. All right, guys. Stay tuned.